Okay, this is another way to make the corner on your entrelac blanket. You've uh, slip stitched across here and you've made your first triangle. And you just drew through three for that last end. And now you slip stitch into that corner spot. Okay, now you're going to chain five. Okay, and then we're going to draw up a loop in each across as if we were going to add another square. So we have six loops in that chain. Three, four, five, we got one more to go. Six. And then we're going to draw up a loop in that corner space for seven loops. Now here's what we do different. We're going to reduce the first stitch. So we're going to yarn over and draw through three loops. And then we're going to yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Now we're going to go across and draw up loops in the vertical bars, except for we're going to skip. Well, I'll show you when we get down there. Um, draw up a loop in that vertical bar. Two, three, four. So we're going to need five loops on our hook for this round. So what we're going to do now is where we reduced, there's a vertical bar coming together with another one. Go under both of those and draw up your fifth loop and then join in your entrelac stitch and then you're going to yarn over draw through three and then yarn over draw through two yarn over draw through two yarn over draw through two and we're going to do it, see last time it was five, now we're going to get four loops on the hook. So it's one, two, three, go under the two that are together, four, so we got the four loops, and then we're going to join with the fifth loop, work it off by pulling through three, then two, then two. Okay, now we're going to end up with three loops on our hook before the join. So one, two, go under the two that are together, draw up a loop, and do your entrelac. Now draw through three to start with, and then two. Now we're going to go under the two that are together, and do the entrelac, draw through all three, and then slip stitch in that corner stitch. This will give you a smaller triangle for the corner of your blanket. And um, the reason I don't like it, I think they stick out funny, the corners do, on this. But that is an alternative if you want to put a squared corner on your diagonal square. Now there's one more method that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you, this is method one, then I'm going to show you method two in the next video.